these are the finished pieces, the two that were cut from the same piece of metal. Uh, might add, let me show you this because this is the third upright and before I have cut the outline properly to leave the straight sides to hold it square in the vise I already drilled and tapped the mounting holes and of course I did that as well before I profiled this, I should have said this earlier, but it's much easier to hold a rectangular object square in the vise than it is to uh, try to do it when it's already been tapered. You'll notice I've already pressed the phosphor bronze bearing bush into this piece and of course this uh, already has the mounting holes in the base and the tapped holes for the upper part of this number one upright and uh, this is the middle upright and uh, it hasn't been profiled yet uh, because I wanted to retain the square edges to hold it square in the vise for tapping the holes but that will be done next but there you are these a little bit closer to uh, finishing this little engine. Now we've come to a stage one proof of the pudding. That's to say we're going to check that what we've done so far is okay. One of the most important things, as you already know, is the concentricity of this crankshaft. We've already checked it out in the lathe and it seems okay. And the next thing, as we've made these one, two and three uprights, to check that their mounting holes for the bearings are all again in exactly the same height from the base. Now I didn't want to waste a nice piece of brass making a, 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 a proper base uh, until I was absolutely certain that what I'd done so far was going to be okay. You've got to remember I've never made this before and I, uh, it's a new design so until it's done and proven I'm not sure. So what I did, I drilled the holes in this scrap piece of aluminum and I've mounted all the holes. Now obviously I had thought, well, there'll be a bit of binding, but no, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised because, look at this, hey, it's absolutely free. And it just shows that the work I've done so far to make it free and concentric and obviously now I know that as long as I make the cylinders properly, do the rest of the work well, and this is all stuff I've done on, on the previous uh, V-twin uh, engine, I'm pretty much certain now that I can complete this project. So that was simply a test, it runs and works very well, and uh, there we are, look at that, there we are.